a very warm greetings to all the viewers. Welcome to the world of microbiology. I am your micro wizard, Dr. Dhruv Brampan, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology in LJ Institute of Applied Sciences, situated in Ahmedabad. Today, we will discuss about allosteric regulation, a topic which is included in Unit 1 of paper MI302, according to Semester 5 of Gujarat University syllabus. The term allosteric comes from ancient Greek, which means allos, which stands for other, and stereos, which means for solid or object. This is in reference to the fact that regulatory site of an allosteric protein is physically distinct from its active site. In biochemistry or cellular metabolism, allosteric regulation or allosteric control is the regulation of an enzyme by binding an effector molecule at a site other than the enzyme's active site. In this lecture, we are going to focus on allosteric regulation of the enzyme. The main objectives of this tutorial will be to understand allosteric site, role of allosteric site, models of allosteric regulation, and nature of allosteric regulator. The concept of allosteric site was discovered or evolved by Chang in 1964. The site other than the active site of an enzyme where the regulatory molecule can bind and control the activity of an enzyme is termed as allosteric site. Role of allosteric site Allosteric site plays important role in control of enzyme activity and brings about metabolic control. Usually, the key enzyme of the metabolic pathways possess allosteric site. Such enzymes are called allosteric enzymes. Generally, the first enzyme of a metabolic pathway is allosteric. Allosteric enzymes are normally multimeric and their subunit contain allosteric site. They can bind with enzyme inhibitor or activator molecule to bring about corresponding effect. The site to which the effector bind is termed as the allosteric site or regulatory site. Allosteric site allows effectors to bind to the protein often resulting in a conformational change involving protein dynamics. Effectors that enhance the protein's activity are referred to as allosteric activators whereas those that decrease the protein's activity are called allosteric inhibitors. Allosteric regulations are a natural example of control loops such as feedback from downstream products or feed forward from upstream substrates. Long-range allosteric is especially important in cell signaling. Allosteric regulation is also important in cells' ability to adjust enzyme activity. Model of allosteric regulation Many allosteric effects can be explained by concerted MWC model put forth by Monod, Wyman and Changwicks or sequential model described by Koshland, Nemethy and Filmer. Both postulate that protein subunits exist in one of two conformations tensed represented as T or relaxed represented as R and that relaxed subunits bind substrate more readily than those in the tensed state. The two models differ most in their assumption about subunit interaction and the pre-existence of both states. For proteins in which subunit exists in more than two conformations, the allosteric landscape model described by Quindet, Winston and Levine can be used. Talking about the concerted model of regul allosteric regulation. The concerted model of allosteric, also referred to as symmetry model or MWC model, postulate that enzyme subunits are connected in such a way that a conformational change in one subunit is necessarily conferred to all other subunits. Thus, all subunits must exist in same conformation. The model further holds that in absence of any ligand substrate or otherwise, equilibrium favors one of the conformational states, tensed or relaxed. The equilibrium can be shifted to the R or the T state through the binding of one ligand. 
to a site that is different from active site or allosteric site. In order to understand the role of allosteric site in regulation of enzyme activity, the following model is represented. One of the subunit of enzyme contains allosteric site, whereas the other subunit contains active site. The regulator molecule, that is inhibitor or activator, can bind to allosteric site. The binding causes conformational change in the subunit having allosteric site. The conformational change in the subunit having allosteric site results in a conformational change in the neighboring subunits in a sequential manner. This ultimately affects the conformation of subunit having active site. As a result, conformation of active site is altered and corresponding effect of inhibition or activator is exerted. If the allosteric regulator is inhibitor, the change in active site does not favor its binding with substrate and results into enzyme inhibition. However, if the allosteric regulator is an activator, the change in active site is favorable to ES complex formation and enzyme gets activated. Apart from concerted model, there are also other models which explains the allosteric regulation such as sequential model, morphine model and ensemble model. The allosteric regulator does play a very crucial role in determining the regulation of enzyme activity. Generally, allosteric regulator is competitive in nature. This can be understood with feedback inhibitors. Nevertheless, the rate of substrate and inhibitor molecule decides the degree of enzyme activity. If the inhibitor binds first to the allosteric site, the conformational change modifies active site. It will cause a chain of conformational changes in the enzyme subunit, which finally makes allosteric site inactive and not able to bind with inhibitor and enzyme remains active. Thus, we can conclude this tutorial by gathering information regarding the allosteric site, mechanism of allosteric regulation and nature of allosteric regulator that affects enzyme activity. Understanding the allosteric regulation of enzyme helps in getting information about metabolic pathways. Thank you.